Hey guys, King Gath here, and welcome to episode 25 of my Children of Adam Fallout 4 Sim Settlements Forever Let's Play. Now, uh, I realized that uh, with all of my time... Oh, I just heard a bear. There he is. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come fight us. Oh, oh, he's got a legendary buddy. Uh, yikes. Come on, get him, Hal. Oh, right, you melted him. Yeah, you guys don't even need me anymore. Very nice. Uh, well, I like the look of that. I actually want kind of want to put some Children of Adam paint on that thing. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but it looks cool. Maybe I'll give it to one of my followers. Okay, anyway, back to what we were talking about. So I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the little trailer, little teaser trailer we released, and uh, that means it's uh, we're, we're deep in the tank. We're in crunch trying to get the next expansion out. So it occurred to me that once that comes out, you guys probably aren't going to want to watch me play uh, this content anymore. You're going to want to watch me play whatever the new stuff is, which we won't rush out. I like to give everybody a chance to play through it all before I play it. Um, so, like, likely for a few weeks after it comes out, uh, I'll probably just be releasing non... Um, I'll just pause the series until uh, until I feel like enough time has passed that uh, you guys will all have consumed the content, at least the story content, in the next expansion. And so it, it, I realized that I want to take this playthrough to a good conclusion before then. Not like uh, season one where it just kind of ended on a cliffhanger because the content wasn't finished. We're making our own content for this particular one. Uh, other than the quest content we played that was in Adam's Glory, most of this is kind of just me making stuff up as I go. And one of the little arcs I wanted to complete was, uh, you know, overthrowing Tectus. And so to do that, we got to come back to Far Harbor here. And uh, we've got to uh, finish up the clean up the quest. Now I could just walk in and shoot him in the head, but that's not particularly uh, exciting after all the buildup. So uh, first of all, I want to get the some of the stuff he's got. So some of the children of Adam have some cool gear that I need to get back that I had never was able to recover again. Because uh, for those of you guys who haven't been following the entire series, we had a horrible save meltdown at some point, and I, I had to uh, basically restart. Oh, oh. And uh, so. So we're trying to uh, recover from there. And the reason you guys are along for the ride, I was going to avoid this, is because the same reason that I'm trying to wrap up the season, that uh, an expansion is uh, you know, just coming out. In the, uh, again, I haven't announced a date, but um, uh, it will be... It was still a little ways off, but uh, all of my extra time is going to that. So I don't have as much time to even do these Let's Plays right now. So you guys are just going to kind of watch me play pretty much everything. Uh, and then Luke will cut out the really awful, boring stuff, but... Uh, it's going to be a lot less uh, edited than uh, the rest of the season where I would probably play for three or four hours and you would just get the highlights. And now it's going to be more like I play for an hour and you get the highlights uh, just because I don't have uh, the time right now in order to get the expansion. Right. Gwyneth. Stop. This is a sacred place. Why have you come here? To use my massive Speaking charisma on you. Nothing. Uh, the truth of nothing? What does that mean? If you are truly prepared to hear it, then I will tell you. The children of Adam have been deceived by Martin. You know, I'd love to listen to this, but we already we already played this game. Sorry, Gwyneth. You're sure. getting fast forwarded. Uh, let's see. What if? You're what if you... I can't. Uh huh. Uh, return to the fear and doubt have blinded you, sister. <laughs> but I think in your heart. Blinded by fear and doubt. How could I have been such a fool? Please tell Richter that... Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All right, return to the Zealot. All right, what is our other... I think we had one other quest. We had to help Sister May with something. Let's see here what Adam requires. Help Sister May. I think it's this one. So where do we go for this? Retrieve the pump regular. And actually, we need to do that too while we're over there. Perfect. Because uh, I do need... I still... I get to go kill all of uh, those dirty synths again too. So that's fun. Um, what am I... I get so hung up by this map. All right, well, let's head on out and hopefully we get to kill some more creatures. Actually, let's. What's our what's our status on? Where's old one arm? I really hate that. You know what? I can't handle it. I can't handle your weapon like that. Let's come here. Oh come on! All right, we're gonna take all this away from you. I'll just start dropping it on the ground. Okay, now can you take it? What do you think? There we go. All right, equip this. We're gonna take this broken gun and then we need to give you some 308. Oh, you got some. Beautiful. Thanks to all the... Oh, actually, do you have any 50 cal? I need I need some more. You've got quite a load of ammo. That's thanks to the uh, auto-loot feature of uh, of the squad system. 
which is very convenient for this. All right, let's uh, dump a bunch of crap on the ground here so we can actually move. Uh, get this out of here. Oh my God, what happened? I, I must have screwed up. Oh, I know what it is. So I got sick of all of the, oh, we're, we're learning where all the loose, the loose texture mods are, the ones that failed to do BA2 files. So I moved all of the loose textures out because I needed to uh, film a bunch of video for the teaser trailer and I needed to get the stupid LOD bug gone, which was caused by a bunch of loose textures. And apparently a lot of these weapons are getting axed in my next playthrough because one of the rules I'm having for season three is no loose files. Any loose files, your mods out of here. Um, Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. oh, he just appeared right in front of me. Well, I, I'm liking this position. He <laughs> said the night can, can't get me. Alright, where are you guys? I see an enemy on my screen here. Where's everyone? Oh! Nice job, Hal. Oy. Don't need any of that junk. Okay, I assume I have to go inside here for this. Yeah! Big ugly sucker. Yep. Human meat. Mm. I'm going to be uh, busting out the old 10 millimeter for most of this encounter here. I got to head back to Far Harbor and uh, pick up some ammo. Uh oh, somebody died. Somebody died. Well, it wasn't you. <laughs> oh, maybe not. It sounded like I assumed somebody died because my uh, carry weight's getting all messed up. Way to go, paper. Mm, oops. Uh, how am I not addicted to Psycho yet? <laughs> I've used this accidentally so many times. Who else is in here? I, I see you. Doesn't mean I can hit you, but I see you. Ooh. Oh, there's two of you? Get out of here. Oh. Broken limbs. Oh, come on. He's just got a few hits left. Where'd he go? Oh, that's probably the fresh one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God, I just used another psycho. Oh, are you kidding me? Thank God for that quick save. You know, I'm getting punished here for killing the environment because I have... Uh, a controller, wireless controller that has a messed up D-pad and it's battery powered and I just keep refusing to go buy a wired controller and I need to just do that. And so this is nature penal penalizing me. All right, let's check out Raybo's list. And I'm still poking through some of the uh, suggestions he had made from previous weeks. But the first one we're going to talk about is one that I think is going to be a pretty big game changer because it not only does something interesting and cool on its own, but it also opens up a possibility that I think a lot of us mod authors had no idea was there. And that's Activate by Whisper and Catalaxis. And what this mod does is allows you to use some of your alternate activations that mods add such as the track owner feature of Workshop Plus, and it allows those to be used while in workshop mode. And the way it does this is very clever. It injects a perk that overrides the default behavior in workshop mode of your buttons, and then it allows you, one of the buttons becomes a button to disable itself, to disable the activate mod so that you can use workshop mode. But then in the meantime, when you first pop in, it will uh, allow you to use those buttons. And that has a lot of potential to it. So whether or not you need this particular mod, I'm very excited about this possibility. 
and what this might enable us to do in the future. So check out Activate by Whisper and Cattle Axis. The next mod was a little unassuming. I kind of glanced over it when Raybo suggested it to me in the larger list, but my obsession with named settlers, uh, especially you guys would have seen it in season one when I got so excited every time I found a named settler from one of the various mods I had that added this. This just, just really uh, tickled me right when I saw it again today. And uh, that is Amelia and Honest Dan at Bunker Hill by Texas Hokies. And this mod is real simple. It takes two of the characters from the Covenant quest line. And rather than them just disappearing, they wander off into the sunset. Instead, they go to Bunker Hill and they become settlers. So two more named settlers. I love named settlers. I think they add a lot of flavor. And it's just fun to have more people that you have some history with, especially as opposed to just people you randomly who randomly show up or you know you meet and you don't get any interaction with them these are actually people that you had some interaction or you had some reason to care about them in the main game quest so it's really cool to see them turned into settlers all right now the last one is one that uh, isn't the normal type that i feature and for some of you it's going to be you're just going to give it a hard pass but as Rabo pointed out we got to encourage people who do this kind of modding because we need more people messing with the hud there's not enough people doing ui work in the Fallout 4 modding community. So this is F76 styled UI skin by MannyMan303. And what this does, it's real simple. It basically reskins the Fallout 4 HUD menus, the various menus to look more like Fallout 76. So whether you like 76 or not, irrelevant. I just want to support somebody doing more HUD work. I want to see more of it. There's so many cool things we can do with the HUD to make it more useful, make it more interesting bring in more customization and uh, this is one such mod. So check out F76 style UI skin by MannyMan303. And here we go, gotcha. Uh, skull rockets, I'll take them. And of course, I always gotta grab my duct tape. Can't, can't quit you duct tape. Let's see, enraging knuckles. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Um, don't need any of that. Okay. Okay, I gotta stop looting, stop looting. Focus. All right, how do we get out of here? There we go. And we're on a move. Oh, that was funky. Oh, oh, what am I forgetting something? Gotta do that quick save action. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. Oh, is it gonna be this easy? I just wondering I was gonna have to find something for this. Storage drive, storage drive. Well, that's garbage, but all didn't really take me any effort, so I accept. Don't have the key. Oh, I don't have your key. Oh, what is this fanciness? Oh, I wonder if that's supposed to be like a another one of the computer, get, like the things holding up all the monitors that, uh, uh, God, I can't remember his name anymore. Um, uh, Dima has, uh, maybe that's one of those. Okay, so that was easy. All right, so let's, um, and I guess I didn't really need to do this. What is this? We're not doing that quest right now. Uh, I guess we're back to the nucleus, right? Yeah, let's go turn this in. We got our, I guess, oh, maybe I didn't do, yeah, I did the pump. God, I'm throwing myself into circles here. So we got the pump, and that's to fix the... I think it's to fix the sprayers when you get into the nucleus. <laughs> uh, I know there's a thing you can do where you can tinker with it and make it not make rads, My. but... You're back. Thanks again for being game to track down that... Oh, Finally go. got that regulator. Oh, no! I got, the I got the old, oh, uh, old broken face bug. So that regulator, unless I mess something up... I was thinking, you willing to do the... Caps, I risked a lot getting this thing for you. I think I've earned some caps. <laughs> Suppose that's fair. I can swing. Say, that bug is so ridiculous. Trust me, if you'd seen this place, you'd know that's not enough. I, mutants, floor to ceiling. Wow, really? Okay, sure. Two fifty. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm just take sure it for everything. What I went through here. Have I described the smell to you yet? All right, all right. Three fifty, but that's as high as I can go. Uh, sure, right. I can take care of that. Great. Pumps down in the bay. Shouldn't give you any trouble. And here, for what you've done. That's what I've been looking for. I thought it came from uh, somebody else. It came from her. Fantastic. 
Uh, Passive Overlord, many very high profiles. Colossal damage is applied to mechanical targets within range. Yes. We will definitely be equipping this thing. And uh, where to go? And we can get rid of uh, the other generic one we were using. So this guy gets favorited to replace the radium rifle. Equip that. You go. Just go on the ground. Just get out of my sight. All right. So I think I gotta just go over here, push the button, and get some rads. If that's what I had to do before, if I recall correctly. Push the button. There we go. Oh yeah. So many rads. Oh, I don't even have to go turn it in. I just get credit for it. Okay. Works for me. All right, so now we need to go help Sister Maya. So now I helped everybody, right? Let's see. Data, what Adam requires. Assist the Grand Zealot. And I think that's what I just did with this, with the uh, heretic thing by convincing Gwyneth to come back. So I should be able to go talk to him. Gwyneth's heresy must be dealt with. Sister Gwyneth is coming back. She wants to make amends for her actions. Got through to her, huh? Wasn't sure anyone could. Can't promise the High Confessor won't just kill her on sight. Still, a tale of sin and redemption sets a useful example. You've done well. Proved your devotion, and more important, your loyalty. Adam smiles on you today, brother. <laughs> will I get paid? I mean, so, that would be... So, was this a paying job? Do not fear. You will be recognized for your dedication. Here, take this. It's not just a weapon, it's one of our sacred artifacts. Go forth and show no mercy to the enemies of Adam. Adam's judgment, all right. Wait, what is Adam's judgment again? Oh, I think this was the weapon that I had given Hal before and then we lost it. It is. Hal, you just got an upgrade, buddy. Where are you? And then what did you, what else did you have? I guess you had, you had a pistol, but I don't care. If, you don't need a pistol. Okay, there we go. Um, do I have to talk to, uh, do I have to talk to Tectus? I, I assume I do. What is that? Speak to, oh, gain access to Emus Terminal. Find the missing sense. We're not doing that. Oh, I have a lot of quests here. Okay, all right, well, let's just pop in and talk to him real quick, just in case. And then I think it's time to go uh, inside uh, the nucleus thing and pull up those memories and I will 100% be cheating my way past those mini games because they seem to be super broken with my mod order. To what do I owe the honor of such a visit from one of his favorites? What can you tell me about the mother of the mother? I already did all this. Caution, brother. Last child who tried to claim the secrets within. Like I said this last time I met you, but you are ugly. So unless you've been tasked Those tattoos by the are not confessor, doing you any favors. I'd steer clear of the command center. Mm-hmm. Don't fear, sister. Adam will shield me. I expect our fallen brethren thought the same. Okay. In we go. I, okay. So I think... Oh. Hi. Oh, this thing's got an, an auto... Uh, it's got full auto. Well, that's fun. Never cease to impress, do ya? Didn't expect to get a full auto mod out of this one. Oh, oh, oh. But I accept. I guess I'm gonna need a lot more rounds for this thing then. What? What? Okay, you guys saw. How much health did I have? I feel like I had at least 50% health there and I just dropped dead. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. I'm not taking fault for that one. Did we get him? Okay, let's... How do we enter here again? Okay. Some ten millimeter. Nothing but garbage. Ten millimeter is not garbage. You take that back. Oh, that's right. We got to turn this on. Although we are going to just cheat. So, 
Uh, I have to like hit a switch or something. I don't remember this at all. Well, I assume it's something to do with these power wires. So let's follow the wires. You don't go anywhere. All right, let's follow these guys. Over here. This is just going to take me right back to the entrance. <laughs> Endorsement time! I just realized today when I logged into my download section of Nexus, which if you want to get to, you go to uh, mods up here and go to download history, and you'll find this nice little column for endorsing over here, and I found a horrible sin. I somehow haven't endorsed <laughs> FO4 Edit, which I use almost daily, and uh, I actually donate a ton of money to them on Patreon because it's such an important project for uh, the Fallout 4 modding community, and I somehow never just bothered to come in here and give them that thumbs up, so let's rectify that mistake right now. Um, do the same, guys. Come into your download history. Go slam the thumbs up on the mods you love, and uh, if you really love a mod, click on it. Go leave a comment, especially new authors. When you see somebody new posting stuff, if you can help them get to hot files with a handful of endorsements and some encouraging comments, you will make a mod author for life and they'll continue to make cooler and cooler stuff all the time. That's how a lot of the people that have been around the community for a long time got their started. They got excited. They built something interesting. People supported them and they were just fueled by that to keep going. So uh, help out make more of those. We need more cool mod authors in the uh, in the community to do amazing stuff like FO4 edit. Those ammo. Okay, this has got to be something really silly I'm missing. Yep, there it is. We have a situation. You guys got this, right? Yep, you did have this. Okay. Oh god. Did everyone survive? You're good. Where's one arm? There she is. All right, everybody made it. Oh. Oh, what is this here? Oh, but it doesn't have the rad damage. Plus 30% damage at night. 75% after midnight. Zero at dusk and dawn. I mean, that's interesting. I'm not going to use it. Getting quite the, quite the hammer collection going on in my inventory. Okay. So now... All right. Go to this. Okay, here we go. Let's see. We're gonna get one more shot. I'm gonna. I'm just curious if it's my whole Lord order that's just messed this up, or if this is just a broken thing, or what's going on here. Okay, let's see. Do you guys want to move? Okay, so you get stuck right there. I'm gonna pick this up. If you were listening to this, then you made go. It inside my memory go. Banks. Go, bugs. Go. Take a moment. I know it's a lot at once. Come on, little bugs, you can do it. No, you're the this. The architecture you're seeing is data. My data. Your data's broken, when buddy. Okay, we'll be hacking our way past that. I don't have the council commands handy. I'm gonna go look them up again. Um, but uh, I think that'll do it. So uh, the other the other thing we do need to wrap up for the season is that middle Minutemen settlement build, and uh, we'll probably have like one episode dedicated to wrapping that up and polishing it all up. So if any of you guys are out there looking to assist with that build, the latest version is still up. Excuse me on Nexus. Uh, you can download that, make your tweaks to it, send send me pics or send me your uh, build after you re-export it with Workshop Framework so that we can get uh, the stuff you want to see into that final build before that uh, last update. So I don't know when it'll happen the next couple of weeks. We'll, we'll get back in there and do that. But right now, kind of get our, our Children of Adam a little story arc wrapped up.